Yeah, thanks for the tip, Kuda. I agree. Uh, I, I chose not to. Ex I, not, I chose not to expand there. Uh, shield barrack camp, well protected against ranged units and towers. Okay. My warriors are good to go. Uh, I really want to kill these wolves, but not yet. <laughs> You're just guessing. Well, we'll see. Uh, we've also got loads of crowns. Developing lets us build extra buildings, but I don't particularly need to do that. That's, that's, that's the stone that we're bottlenecking on. Yeah, we're only down to minus four, so that's actually excellent. I'm confident we can get through the winter with that. And look at that, we've still got more people coming. Um, I, I'm not going to upgrade this house. Here we go, thanks for following. Welcome to Camelot. It is a silly place. Uh, three out of three buildings. Three out of three buildings. Five out of five buildings. Three out of three. One out of three. Okay, good. Let's keep the expansion going. So how does this work? Allows you to launch raids. Loot crowns. I don't have any clan members working here. So it's a resource for sailors to look for. Fame or discover lore. Ooh, interesting. So do you put villages in there? Yeah. Apparently. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's that? A blizzard. Yeah. Doubles forward consumption. That's fine. We got loads of it. Ooh. Start a raid. That's so cool! Okay. Come on, fight! And I really want to get I want to get the, the iron as well so I can improve the tools of my uh, of my farmers. New knowledge. If we complete Actually we don't have to do this one because we, we, we are totally fine for firewood. So let's go for extra crowns or sailors resource production. Sailors resource production. So they're just off the map for a bit. It's actually kind of cool because they're not... Well, it looks like they're not going to be pissing off the other clans, which is what we want, because I don't want to... I don't want to... <laughs> it's only a model. Well, probably my favourite line, or one of my favourite lines from Quest of the Holy Grail is, um, What a strange person! Look, is there someone else up there we can talk to? <laughs> Food and hello. Five more people coming. Oh wow, food's a problem. We're gonna run out of food. Well, that's, actually, it's very close. But uh, what we can do is we can turn some of these woodcutters into food gatherers. Well, that's probably not gonna be. It's gonna be too late. We're gonna starve, or, albeit not for very long. Go get the food. Uh, it's not really going to help, is it? Huh? In fact, all Aye. woodcutters, just as a temporary huh? measure, because we've got so much wood stored Aye. up. Let's go gather food. Far. Plus one. Oof, that was close. Not and there, the snow melts. Excellent. Hmm? So now I get back in the woodcutting. Come on, I need stone here so badly. Recruit law masters, okay. In fact, I can I don't need this woodcutter's lodge. I'm paying the upkeep. I don't need the upkeep. I can use the building as the structure for something else. That's so cool that they just set off from that little deck and get stuff for us almost randomly. I really want to grab this here. There's two stone and it's right here. It needs 170. And I think this area is probably safer because it's unlikely that the enemy clan will get in there. Okay, we'll, we'll grab this one as soon as we can. Let's go take care of those wolves in the meantime. Seeger! We've got the whole summer to get food, this is fine. Bam. 
Bold. No. Mine. Well, since you're rushing getting that stone, and we should 100% build another tower. Luckily, we've got no shortage of wood. keeps coming plus 19 on food is okay <sighs> oh, as soon as I get that stone I can upgrade the hunter's lodge get our food production up even higher then we can colonize here and colonize there which gets us even more stone I don't like the look of these scouts though okay we're the, we're the most famous which I like yeah, we're way ahead well, equal for Yggdrasil. Actually, Wisdom. Erglin's ahead of us. We the richest uh, and the most famous. Okay, I think also once we upgrade that Hunter's Cabin, we'll spend another 15 on uh, Law Stones. Just so that we can upgrade our Law. I want to be winning in the research battle. Our oh, brave warriors move on. Not time yet. Uh, good. Colonize for 200. We're getting a lot of a lot of territory. It's bloody great. And I think this is probably the last bit of territory we can get. And then once the Jordan come over to our side, uh, we need to store our food in silos. No, we don't need to. We're fine, aren't we? Hmm. All of it was, was stored in a silo, so we shouldn't have lost anything there. I don't think we did. Silo, Hunter's Tile, so Backseat Gaming. No, no, fine. I, I need the help. I've got like less than, less than five hours of, of total experience in this game. So, I am still learning. Happy little miners. Nice. Okay, so we can't grab the circle of stones without pissing off Erling. I want to see if I can win on wisdom without uh, having to fight. And to do that, I'm going to need all the stone I can get. I think the remaining stone has to go into wisdom stones. And go here just, just to get our wisdom up. See, one of four blessing of the gods, one of four active law masters. There's something here that, here we go, law masters produce 10% calf stone, cost is half, that's huge! Okay, so as soon as we get that then, it's gonna, instead of costing 15 stone, it should cost uh, 7 or 8. That's important, we're gonna need that. So what's this, radifestation, that's fine, we've got silos. Bam, nice. Okay, let's save our stone. <laughs> God, we're grabbing so much land so quickly, it's wonderful. What was that sound? That, oh, that was probably more fame from our uh, sailors. And another civilian needs to go hunt. 20% uh, food production, is that worth spending 10 stone on? I'm not so sure. I think. And I just want to get my wisdom into first place. Then we'll upgrade that silo for the extra food production. Okay, circle of stones. Put, put some villages in there. I'm just conscious it's going to lower our food output. But the population just keeps growing, which is great. much we need here 240 on the plus oh we've got the food and it's the last one we have to do pretty much the last, the last un un unclaimed bit of, bit of ground on the map so we'll grab it straight away oh that's the warrior i'm just gonna go ahead and build this uh quarry ahead of ahead of schedule or ahead of time rather so that when, once these uh, are depleted, then they can just go straight across to the other one. Okay. Who's not busy? 
you go become a warrior. And we'll keep our fighters here nice and central. Okay, so our borders are nice and stable. Now we start pushing uh, to increase our law. Bold. Law stone. We're going to have to wait. Oh, it's very close. We can, we can reduce the cost. Just like this. Increase law master production by 10, so that figure of plus 16 should go up as well. Up to 17, not by a lot. Whoopsie, I didn't mean to press feast. Oh, sake. Whoopsie, that was a mistake. Hell, I can even build another one of these carved stones. Although that should be... Yeah, that'll be the fourth law master. So that is as much as we can do. Now we can get excellent Yord's Blessing for extra stone and iron. So iron to improve tools, I think. Where's the farmers? And the hunters. Just, to, just further, further improve our food generation. Skulls produce more happiness, could be good. Uh, we don't have, uh, don't have more iron. Although really, the, the next iron upgrades. Sh should they go for our warriors? We're not really gonna use our warriors. Uh, depleted resources, damn. Increase wood production by 20%. We don't need that much wood. You two, get over there. Uh, can you upgrade the sheep's tools? <laughs> I wonder. Also, how much how much fame do you need to win on fame? Because if we increase the tools of our sailors, then we can get more fame that way. Okay, so four of four active law masters. So that puts us ahead on where's wisdom? Just ahead. Okay, so if we get our if we get our fame high enough, well, we'll need two more areas to control. So we're gonna have to fight. And then we have to build the altar of kings. Mm. Uh, build the altar of kings will give you food and production as well as fifty fame. Let's 100% do that, and then see if we can't get our hands on uh, two more two more territories. So we're going to have to fight, let's see, who is the weakest clan? The red clan to our east. Salo's protected us, nice, quarry's complete, you get to work, nerd. Only one of two there, I need... Actually, I need that iron. I'm loving this. It's winter. We got plus. We got positive food production. I'm very pleased about that. Ooh! If I upgrade here, we can get even more fame or more law. I tell you what. Let's switch to to getting law, and we may as well upgrade. Chuck a third person in there. So this is just going to help accelerate uh, two out of three clan members. Oh, I can't have a clan member. Oh, we need to stop the raid first. Let's uh, open the menu again. Again, uh, I need to get two more territories. I think we'll, we'll, we'll probably we'll, we'll try to take on this blue clan over here. Take on Erling. We'll take two. Of, we, we'll, we need to claim and colonize two territories. Uh, and get the altar built. Here comes the ship. Nice, I love the little animations, it's so cool. <laughs> Look at the war hammers. Amazing. Oh, yeah, hey. So cool. Go get lore. Hey, well, my brave, brave sailors. That's now two of two. That's only one of two. Did I put a third hunter in here? I did. Okay, good. And 20% from the silo. Look at that. We're almost halfway with the... Uh, trading with the Jotun. 
And if they join us, hopefully that that'll count as one of the territories we need to get the title of king. And then I might even try to go for this one as well then, because it doesn't seem to be... It's kind of like separated from the rest of the... Okay, we can get new knowledge. What knowledge do we want? Uh, buildings upgrade costs is good. Marketplace prices. Increase each gain of fame. I think I want... I don't particularly need the fame. Marketplace prices? I can, maybe like, can I... Okay, that'll depend. I can fucking buy things like stone and iron, which I can do. Okay, so that's the one to go for then. So what are the prices? Buy five stone for 140. We got loads. Let's do that. Bought some iron. Improved tools of the sailors. Improved tools of more wood, more happiness. Yeah, the happiness is a bit low. This is great. We got loads of money. Okay, but I see the prices go up every time. Okay. So whose tools do I want to improve? Woodcutters for more wood. We got, we, we're in the positive on wood. Uh, plus 13 crowns. We make a lot of money. Law masters, law masters produce more law. We're going to need that. And increases healing speed. Meh. Warband is maxed out. Population is maxed out. But do I actually want to increase my population at all? I don't think so. Uh, let's remember that we are a defensive empire, so I wonder if I shouldn't upgrade my defensive towers. Although that doesn't strike me as a, as a particularly good, uh, a good use of our uh, of our stone. I'm rather going to put the stone into uh, upgrading the buildings because we have this ability that, or, or our what's our fame bonus? Uh, our fame bonus. I forgot where this. I forgot where to see what it is. There you go, dedication. Upgrade building scan addition, 10% production bonus. Sweet. I think we can chuck one extra woodcutter in there. Plus 23 food. Excellent. If I upgrade these two, that will make my fighters a bit tougher. And I could I should probably hire a war chief. You should always build the watchtower on the far side of the enemy so they can't do hit and run to kill it. So what do you mean? On the far side from the enemy. So like instead of building it here, I can do here. So they can't run up. Okay, I was just building it on the edge of the, on the edge of the territory. That just struck me as right. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure that'll be a lot more useful in a multiplayer game. But as it is, oh yeah, we're very close to winning on uh, Plus 30 knowledge, holy crap. Oh, we've been attacked by the Red Clan. Get over there, Warband, quickly. Okay. Well, at least one of, one of the clans have declared war against us, so we know which one of them we can, we can screw up to get that extra territory we need. Improved tools, attack power 15, doesn't seem worth it. it produce more wood, produce more crowns. And miners extract more minerals, that's good, so we get more out of the... Uh -huh. Damn. That's the end of it, I'm afraid. Uh -huh. of, that, of those deposits, I mean. Uh -huh. Ahoy! Okay, so we can get two red territories. We can get this one, and we can get this one fairly easily. But we are going to need something that can help us to take down that tower. A thousand food. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, let's go with... Uh, tower. And tower. Only one. Okay, fair enough. Start the trading food with you. Thank you. Obtain phrase blessing. Two more and you'll achieve victory. Ten members without a home. What? Okay, well then I'm sure we can... Let's develop this area. 
We've got loads of money, we can develop loads of areas, not a problem. And build a house. And actually, before I started upgrading all the buildings, I should have gotten carpentry mastery, because that, you know. Wow, we're researching quick. Damn it, these ore deposits go so quick. There's nothing for us uh -huh. here. Okay. Well, thank you for your job, miners. Thank you for the work you did. Just go gather food. I kind of feel like I should make my military a bit stronger. What's a rallying? A new trained exo is automatically rally war chief current area. Okay, good. That, that makes a lot of sense. Good. Let's do that. And we may as well get the shield bearers in. So we've got so much money, it's bloody great. Let's see, shield bearer camp. I think, considering that that watchtower is on the frontier, we should 100% upgrade it. Warband of seven little fighters doesn't seem that intimidating, but I suppose it's good enough. And what the hell, we might as well upgrade their fighting ability, considering we're not going to be having a huge uh, warband. Put some more crowns. Yep. Spam silos. <laughs> so the victory condition I'm going for is the research victory condition. Oh no, fame seems to be. Oh no, we're close on fame. Oh no, wisdom. We're a bit further off. Okay. I suppose, no, looks like we're going for the feigned victory condition, so we need to control two more areas. Each gain of fame by 20%, and unlock all blessings, plus three happiness. So we need three more uh, techs, and we should get a knowledge victory. Oh, it's going to be quick. We, we, we're probably going to end up getting the knowledge victory. Yeah, look at that. You know, the fame would be quicker, but I do still need to get... Uh, oh, hell! What the hell? How'd that happen? Okay, where are my villagers? Was that a, an earthquake or something? The hell? Oh, now the blue... Now the, oh my god, now the blue clans wants a piece. That's, actually, that's not a fight we can win. Feck, I think we have to give this up. Okay. Building on fire. Is that an archer shooting at the, the tower from outside of range? No, it's not. Okay, we can get a much bigger warband though. Right. Enemy, enemy, uh... Enemy bastards, you asked for this. Okay, we don't have money for that. Fair enough. Entire war group. War band. Seven of us. Get over there. Lost control of the area. Don't worry, we'll get it back. Okay, so now we need to get this area. What if the blue team want to start shit with us? Then we can... We just need three more areas. And where's my entire war band? Uh, two, two, one. Yeah, that's probably fine. Is this them? Two shield bearers, two warriors, a war chief. Get them, boys. Are we winning? Or are we winning? There goes our war chief. This is a huge battle. And we're going to build a defensive tower and upgrade it. 
Green there a second ago. Oh, we're gonna lose here. Oh, what? Good lord, our warband got oh, fucked up. What's on fire? Shit's on fire, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, for goodness yeah. sake. Yeah. Actually, this guy's just gonna, this village is probably just gonna hang around here and just repair this. Okay, someone's bleeding, that's fine. Mm -hmm. We need to turn these spare villagers into, into warriors. food so we, <laughs> we've more than compensated for our food shortages okay we'll do one more warrior one more extra uh -huh. no, i don't want to mm. take you out of there mm. uh, -huh. uh one more extra uh, and one more warrior and once we have 150 we should be able to get our war chief This territory here now I'm gonna have to fight this defensive tower. So mm, military units and fur coats and then defensive strategy, but probably at that point we would have won on the on the on the wisdom victory. Because we got three out of four blessings. Mm. Yeah. Should we go start some shit here? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Are we taking too much damage here? Let's just make a little raid and then get out of there. I don't want to lose anyone. Ooh, don't die. <laughs> Close. Hmm? Hmm? I could technically build up a lumber yard. Yeah, yeah. I, I really just want this guy to hang around there. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Make sure that stays safe. Okay. Can is made it to a new year. Portals leading to. Where are the portals? Yeah. Over there. Huh? Huh? Oh. Organize the feast. Oh, hell yeah. We've got so much food. We should be feasting all the time. What's the stone situation like? Could be better. Uh, I need to buy some, buy some, some steel, so I can get another war chief in. It's 150 crown, crowns. I keep, I'll keep wanting to say kroners for some reason. It's crowns. 55% on, on the Jotun. Now we, I think we're gonna get the law of chief. Plus 34 law. Wow. And I think we only need. Uh, so we've got 13 out of 15, so two more. So as soon as we get fur coats and. What is it? Young and proud. Your defense. Towers, defense, resistance. Okay. Happiness if you have a war chief. Happiness per upgrade a military camp. War chief attack. I quite like actually, like. The, the, the military tree for this one is difficult to the tree of the other clan. The other one had um, increased damage against towers, which is this, this one, this clan obviously doesn't have. That's pretty cool. I'm just going to upgrade whatever buildings I can. Whatever's not upgraded, we'll upgrade. Mm -hmm. Need stone for that. So the fame victory, we need two more, to control two more areas and... Let's see if we can't maybe get the fame. Uh, we can always stop this raid and then to fame. And then we just gotta capture this territory, that's one. And this territory is two. 
Oh, the gyro taking it over. Cool. Oh. Just waiting for my, my, my lads to all heal up. So is he caught, isn't he smart enough to auto repair? You'd think so. Let's not worry about taking down this defensive tower. OG first 15, law, you can get the last blessing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that, that would be the kind of way I would lose. Just, I'll just forget to get the blessing. Four clan members doing now. Oh yes, because I want you guys getting fame. So I'm not going to improve tools. I'm going to hire a war chief. So select entire warband group up. I think we're not going to go for this one because it'll mean starting shit with the Jotun, which we don't want to do. So that's an upgraded building. That's an upgraded building. Fuck, that sucks. I don't want to fight it. It's going to cost us so much. But Vikings are not afraid. Vikings attack. Also, once I get some more money, I should buy some more iron so I can upgrade my shield bearers tools. Right, right, right. This is scary though, we're probably gonna lose our shield uh, our war chief. I'm gonna rotate the war chief after he gets too low. Like that. Where did these guys come from? No, War Chief! Oh. So all of our fighters actually lost. I mean, it's, it's obvious that these... This blue clan are, are fucking badasses. And we, God, that didn't go well. See, I didn't even realize these fighters were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're defeated. That's humiliating, I know. Well, uh. shit. So all of these guys standing around. Oh my word. This is bad. <laughs> uh. Um I don't wanna have well let's see, so uh -huh. all villagers come over here and we'll well, but I can't turn them all into warriors. I don't have the crowns for it. So we've got one shield bearer. So let's get a axe thrower and let's get a warrior. Oh, jeez. We're still getting our asses kicked here. Bam. Villager. Go repair quickly. Take a look at the crowns. Uh, we need 35, 45, and 45. So that's 90, uh, one, 125 for three soldiers. No, you nerd. Prepare the damn tower, don't fucking fight. Enough law for another knowledge. Uh, let's see. Increase your defense resistance by 30 when defending civilians. Now, fur coats. Merging units no longer have reduced power. Lost control of this area. What? Where? Oh, that took our tower. The fuckers. Get over there. Right. That's it. We didn't want to be warlike. We're getting forced to be warlike. Uh, what does value of great deeds? Where is that? Uh, uh, that's just uh, plus one crowns per skull, and I've got only three skulls, so it's effectively plus three plus three gold, and we've got plus fifteen gold, so we don't really need it, I don't think. Second time warband, get over there. Get over there. I need you to build another tower. I didn't even realize this, this, this attack happened. I'm so distracted. That's his defensive tower, though. Can I destroy it? 
no, I think once this gets down to zero, it'll just be destroyed. Man, and getting a war chief costs you five iron each time, which gets cumulatively more expensive. Brave Viking boys. Oh my god. Another attack. We have to split you guys up, so let's go. Axe thrower, warrior, shield bearer. You guys are group number one. You go there. You guys are group number two, and you go here. Oh, for God's sake, come on. And this time we can build the tower. Oh, for fuck's sake, I need to capture it first. Oh, they have destroyed our tower again! Okay, this time we'll build the tower right here on the edge of our territory. We're under attack again, my word. Uh, clearly they are sensing that we are getting close to the knowledge victory, uh, so that's why they want to take us all out. It's pretty cool actually that, that the AI is smart enough to do that. So we don't have enough stone, we're gonna need how much stone to upgrade the To upgrade two, two tiles we need eight stone. Uh, we'll leave the change uh, 140. Bam, that gives us the stone to upgrade the towers. Shit. God. Th this blue clan are fucking badasses. No, no <laughs> what is struggling to get this done? Okay, where was that lazy villager? Well, we're very close. It should be one more. Yeah, the, the blue, blue clan is a kind of had last night. That's the one that's very warlike. They get all the combat bonuses, which is why they're, they're kicking our asses so much. Uh -huh. So I don't really have the gold. Oh my word, we're under attack. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh no, quickly finish building. Uh -huh. 97. Uh -huh. No, you bastards. Uh -huh. Combat building. Yes. Why don't you upgrade? Because you're fighting. Alright. 98, 99. Upgrade. Oh my word, here come the next batch of fighters. This is fucking intense. We just gotta hold out till we get the knowledge victory. Yeah, blue clan seems to be the fighty clan. They really should put in an auto repair function there. So actually, we'll just keep our warband in the middle between the two areas and just use them as a response team. Okay, let's make some more fighters. You become the axe thrower. You become warrior, and you, sir, become shield bearer. We'll save up some money. Warhol. Entire war band is six of us. Bam. Whoa, that's a big attack. Get in there, boys. Look at this villager, she gives no fucks. She's in there helping. We're very close. I could make the warband even bigger, I mean, why the hell not? If I can afford to, why not?
Yeah, the Wolf Clan does have some pretty cool... Like, our, our class specific upgrades are what exactly? Let me get this one. Uh, crowns from Skulls. That one's good. Increase each gain of fame. And in fact, you know what? We can, we, we've got the 1200 fame we need to become king. So stop the raid and just make them uh, get the law. Timing was perfect. Start raid with law. I don't see us being able to capture the areas we're going to need to, uh, to capture. We could keep organizing another feast. We've got so much fucking food. Here we go, here we go. Almost. Group number two, and we'll just a uh, dedicated tower repair right? <laughs> Silos, nice. Oh god, run back, go defend the tower again. <laughs> just running back and forth between the towers. Uh, young and Proud, what was Young and Proud? Uh, increase the energy and attack power by 3% for each positive happiness you give. So, 27 times 3. Okay, but I like the defensive strategy. Your defensive tower resistance will be increased. But we got for young and proud. Victory! Nice. Ugh. That was nice and quick. That was less than two hours. And it was a medium map, so maybe on the next one we will turn the difficulty up to difficult, and we'll go on a larger map. This game. I can see how it's going to be multiplayer focused. And I, God, I can just imagine how salty we'll get if, if we play with a bunch of viewers, which we have to do at some point. But my God, the salt levels are going to be off the fucking charts. If we get all four of us together in a Discord Discord channel so we can smack talk each other. Oh my God. Have a potato. Thank you, Steph. Nice. Okay, so that was Yotun. That was... Thorson of Clan Eichthanir, Eich Eich Eichthanir, and it was a uh, Wisdom victory. So, so far we got the uh, World Tree victory, we've got the Wisdom victory. So what are we going to go for next? For next we will go for, like, let's call them Jerek, Yellow Team, Large, Hard, and it'll be Hydran. The Clan of the Goat. When it comes to surviving in dangerous conditions and building sturdy settlements, the Clan of the Goat has no rival. They will endure and survive no matter what. Start with two sheep and can build the sheepfold. That's cool. Increase production bonuses of your feasts to 30%. And then the fame triggers are gain two free tools to improve your workers' productivity. That's actually very nice because that's essentially 10 iron. Your defense towers and all the military units gain 20% resistance when, feast, when, when feasting. So they are a defensive one. I think this would be a very good clan to go for the king victory, probably. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm, 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 I'll do Hydra next, then we'll do the Raven one. Can colonize with crowns. Can build the harbor to explore coastal areas and later send mercenary attacks. Obtain two villages. Gain higher mercenaries at your harbor since the right coastal areas. Bjarki. The armored bear. This seems like a very fighty one. Having an armored bear or a shield maiden in an area increases local production by 15%. Gain plus five fame per enemy unit killed in an area within the shield maiden. Wow. Fenrir had military units gain 15% attack bonus when fighting outside, and your berserker can colonize cleared areas for free. Yeah, that, that's 100% the fighty clan. But anyway, it'll be Hydran next. So the next one will be Jerick of Clan Hydran. Cool. That was fun. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll single player each of the campaigns once and then we'll start the multiplayer shenanigans. And uh, test the strength of the friendships. My friends. <laughs>